Hello everyone, today we're going to be looking at the Beat Studio 3 wireless headphones. I've just got this, so these are brand new. So what I have here is the Shadow Gray. Of course, I'll open and show you what comes inside. But first thing first, let me show you the box. As I mentioned, here is the Skyline Collection Shadow Gray and C noise canceling, 22 hour battery life. Beat Studio 3 wireless here and here is the other side. And here is the back of it with some specs. Actually, you know what? Let's just open this uh, plastic so you guys can see it better because the plastic keeps reflecting the light. So best is just to remove it, then I can show you the back and all the specs. Now, the first Beats I ever had were the original Beat Studio ones. And they were just amazing. I loved using them. So here we have a little bit more specs. So it has active noise canceling. And then ANC off for low power mode. And it has battery life up to 22 hours with the noise canceling on. And then 40 hours without the noise canceling, which is pretty good. Um, most times I'm probably not even going to use noise canceling. So having that almost double the battery is really nice. And here we have fast fuel, 10 minutes charge for three hours play. Again, quite amazing. On-ear controls for music and calls. And here is built-in microphone, of course. So you can end up using Siri. Also, you can end up making calls as well. Now, let's open and see how this looks. I must say the packaging is really, really nice. I mean, very, very beautifully done. And now let's open this. I believe it. Oh, there we go. Let's put this on the side. And here we go. Really cool packaging. I must say it again. Really, really nice. And uh, here we go with this. It also comes with this beautiful. I'm not even sure what kind of what kind of material this is, but it's really, really smooth. It's not leather. It's I have no idea what kind of material, but it's really, really smooth. Now let's see if anything else comes inside. They have this little tabs inside so you can pull it out. Pretty cool. Let's put this inside. So we do get some paperwork. We also get a couple cables. And um, I always forget what this is called. So, all right, now let me show you the contents inside the box. It comes with this little thing that you can connect. Um, I'm not sure why would you do that, but it is there. Maybe you can put this on your backpack or something. So it comes with that. And uh, I'm just going to pop this back inside. And I'm pretty sure I'm not going to end up using that. And I don't want to lose it. And it also comes with two cables. The first one is to charge it. So it comes with the uh, micro USB to USB type A. So make sure you have that kind of brick. You can also plug it into the laptop computers and stuff like that. Then, of course, it comes with another cable, which is... 3.5 millimeter to 3.5. If you don't want to end up using a wireless, you can use a wired. And of course, we do have quite a lot of paperwork here. Work first one is for the Apple Music. Then we have this will be kind of like a startup guide to get familiar with everything: charging, control, setup, and all that. I'm probably going to look at that later if I do have any problems. Then we have another one. This one is kind of interesting. So it does say for the Android, you do have to download the Beats app. And the other one is for the iOS, iPhones, iPads, and so on and so on. It says your Beats will update automatically, so no app is needed, which is pretty interesting. I do plan on using it with the iPhone. You also get the Beats sticker. And then we get the important safety information. And then, I'm not even sure what this is, warranty, I believe, something like that. All right, now that we got that out of the way, now let's check the main thing, which are the Beats headphones. I do love the case. All right, so here we go with the headphones themselves. First impression, really nice material. Look at this, wireless, has gold. So I went with the, uh, this is shadow gray, but as you guys can see, there's a little bit of, um, I'm not sure if that's gold color or what it is, but definitely a two-tone, which is something I was looking for. And then it has the gold Beats logo. And here it says controls for wireless mode. So we have the volume, then we have, um, this would be for the phone, 
connect, disconnect. Let's build that off right away. Again, it has that Beats logo. And here we have another one, Charge Me Up, which I'll end up doing next. And uh, there we go. So what I'm going to do next is put them on the charger, see what kind of charge it has, and then I'm going to show you how to connect them. I'll give you my first impression of the use, but so far the quality-wise looks really, really nicely. I do enjoy that. All right, so I have my beads being charged. Matter of fact, they seem to be fully charged. They do have all five lights here. So what I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave it now just to check the battery percentage once I connect it. So this will be first time connecting. So make sure you do have iPhone running iOS 11. Make sure the Bluetooth is on. Once you have those two things, so all we're gonna do is find the power button, which will be here. So we're gonna press it once. And then uh, we're gonna get it close to the iPhone. Actually, I, I don't think I turned that on. Oh, there we go, now it's on, it's flashing the light. And just like that, it already discovered that. So now we're just gonna do connecting. And it already has 100%, so I'm just gonna unplug it. There's no point of, there we go. All right, so I just finished using them for a little bit. To connect them was really easy as I showed you. Now to turn it on, all you have to do is just hold it for one second. It does have this really cool light up where each light kind of turns on. And the moment you turn that on, it shows up on the iPhone you had it connected with. Now if we go settings, they will end up showing here. It says Milo's Beat Studio 3. Now if I click on that, nothing really will show up. It will just give you the model number and stuff like that. Now there's quite a few things you can do with the controls here. If you push it up, it's volume up. Push it down, volume down. If you push this, for example, if you're listening, you get in a call, all you have to do is just push it once to answer the call, push it again to reject the call. Now, if you're just listening to music, all you have to do is uh, double tap, it will skip to the next song. If you press it one, it will play pause. And then if you press it three times fast, it will do the backward song. So it will repeat the song you were just listening. Now, another cool thing with these, as I already mentioned, that's how I build the microphone. So it does support Siri. So all you have to do is just hold this uh, for a few seconds. You will hear a chime, then you can ask Siri, whatever you wanna ask, how is the weather, she will answer that, which is pretty cool. So it does support the Siri. And now let's talk about how comfortable these are. These are really good quality. And here is how much I had to open mine on each side uh, for my head to fit comfortably. Now the ear cups themselves aren't that large, which is kind of surprising before the previous version I had, uh, the cups were much larger. So depending on the size of your ears, I kind of can't twist that, I don't want to break it, but depending on size of your ears, if you have really large ears, they might end up touching the leather that's around. Now that's not a bad thing depending but your ears might end up getting hot now if you do have smaller ears then um, this is no issue for you for example i have i would say i have medium size ears so my ears do end up touching the leather part a little bit overall really really good headphones um, lately they've been very budget friendly as well and i would definitely recommend them thank you guys for watching